have we finally turned our house into a gas station? All I know is these products just came out, but they came out at the end of beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Pork and Good now has pickled sausages and pickled eggs. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something pickled, you'll be alerted to it. I don't know what to think of this. Should we be excited or horrified? Should this be a uh, part of keto camping fear factor? It seems like a fear factor food or something that you would find traveling through Lancaster, Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. We used to buy everything pickled. Oh yeah. Um, I actually like some pickled things. I'm gonna trust pork and good because- They haven't steered you wrong. They haven't steered us wrong. I really like their products. I think they have good clean ingredients. Um, if you want something really hot, you can get the stupid hot ones. If you want Super just, hot. if you miss popcorn, get the buttered, you know, pork rinds. They, they mm. have a good product. We actually have a coupon code for it. I'll leave it down below. I love their seasonings. But this just came out. Uh, we actually got that message that it came out when we were in Tennessee. I immediately ordered them. They got delivered. Of course, beef, butter, bacon, egg is over, but this would be a good thing to have yeah. for road trips, to have like just on the road, keeping the RV. So keto camping fear factor, zombie apocalypse, whatever you want to Hurricane. call it. Hurricane. Hurricane. Here we go. So we've got pickled Polish sausages, two different flavors. This one looks like it's original and red hot. Wow. Then we have three kinds of eggs. We've got red hot pickled eggs. Salt and vinegar pickled Ooh, eggs. My mouth is like salivating. And zesty garlic. Okay. We definitely need to try the hot at the ends because I'm afraid that it will, at the end. it will influence the rest of it. And you see, I just got this pretty fall um, thing for the table and I put down napkins because I'm afraid that we're gonna like red it up. So we're gonna go back and <laughs> forth. So okay. we're gonna start with egg, All sausage, right. egg, Sausage, egg. Okay. So I say we start with zesty garlic eggs. Okay, I'm, a, I'm down with it. I got okay. a fork for you and a fork for me and a plate in the middle. Okay. As it should be. Let's see if we can do this without making a mess. Oh, please let's try. Okay, so it does have a protection cap on it. So I like that. Ooh. It is filled all the way to the top. Okay. Ooh, so I need to show it. It's like a yellowish green so color. So go ahead and put the top right back on that. Put your top on. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it in half. And like all pickled eggs, it's got that little bit of a rubber ball feel. Right, zesty garlic. Okay, so hopefully that's not blown out, but. Ooh, I mean, you can smell the garlic. Oh yeah. You're you're Here about go. to go hang out with our son today and he's gonna be like, what's up with your breath? Dink. Dink. Mmm. Wow. It's good. Mm-hmm. Pickle legs isn't always my favorite. I like that. It's got a nice vinegar undertone. It's more than just garlic. It's got a kick. It's like a spicy. Does it say spicy garlic? It's zesty. Zesty. It's it very is, zesty. It is very zesty. Ooh. I um, love that sour. Woof. Trying to think. So it's garlic almost like with a hint of ranch. It right. And it's kind of a peppery hot. Mm-hmm. Like peppered hot. That is good though. Little, little bit of element in there. Mm. Do a rinse. Okay. Wow. I'd eat that all day long. Plain sausage. Okay. They might need a zesty one for that. Here, why don't I put this down this way? I don't shake it while we're yeah, doing it. Yeah, don't shake it. 
I'll get it. Okay. Because I gotta show it. I don't want you to have to like thing near ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> okay, I speared one for you. Oh, there we go. So that's what it looks like. Ooh. Looks like a, a mini wiener. A little wiener. Dink. 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 Okay, I like that. Mmm. Wow. Huh. Never been a fan of pickle pole sausages. That is I actually like, really because good. Because it's small, mm -hmm. it's not like one of those big giant ones. I the flavor is good, the texture is perfect. The texture is perfect. You feel a little bit of that like bologna feeling on the roof of your mouth, you know, where like you, you wanna kinda like lick the roof of your mouth because of like the fattiness. I feel like I'd wanna throw this little guy in an air fryer too. I, I, you always wanna throw I stuff I always wanna throw sausage. stuff in, a, in an air fryer, but that is delicious. The flavor on that's really good. Okay. Not that, hot. I like that one. That's okay. just plain. Let's go. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar? Yes. Or, you don't want to do hot? Well, I'm afraid that it will impact. You're going to go hot, hot. The I feel other. like we should do hot. Do a hot. Hot. And then, well, I guess we're still going hot. Yeah, hot. let's let's do this one. I, I'm excited about salt and vinegar. Actually, like, I mean, how much more sour could it be than the zesty? I love anything salt and vinegar. In Me fact, too. when we were at Keto Palooza. Bunker Hill cheese. Bunker Hill had a salt and vinegar, and I was like, yes, please. And I ate an entire bag of it before he got before any. Before I got any. I I'm didn't sorry. even get any. I'm so sorry. When we were there, Robert was like, yeah, I'm all about salt and vinegar. Look yep. at that. That's, I mean, didn't change colors or anything like that. So go ahead. I wanna cut you. There you go. Yeah. It looks like nothing's going on. Like it's a regular egg, right? Dink. Dink. Mm. Mm. Honestly, I wouldn't have even said it's salt and vinegar. It's just a pickled egg. Mm -hmm. It's not like super salty or anything, but it's not spicy. It's just really good. It's just like the best pickled egg I've mm -hmm. ever had. It's it's good, but I don't think that it tastes any different. Like I wouldn't make the distinction like it's, it's salt and vinegar. It's a pickled egg. Yeah. I'm not getting that. Like, have you ever had salt and vinegar chips or salt and vinegar pork rinds yeah. or salt and vinegar Bunker Hill cheese? It's like punch you in the face salt and vinegar. Yeah. This is not. No. It I mean, is, it's not bad. It's a pickled egg that doesn't have any kind of weird flavor. It's really good. Again, I'm not a huge pickled egg person. Yeah. Um, until I tried those. Those are really good. These ones, I would, I mean, if you don't mind having a little bit of a kick, Yeah. these were really good, but that is like the perfect entry level. But if you were worried that it was gonna pucker your mouth and turn you inside out because it was, it would be the next level. No. It's, it's not. not. Okay, so. Ooh, we're getting into the hots. Red hot sausages. Ooh. Looks the same. So don't mix them up, right? I'll take a whole one for this guy. Oh, you're daring. This I is am. the one that I would go half on. Dink. Dink. Now that is good. Not scary Not at a first. lot of heat yet. Mm -mm. And here it comes. My my eyes are wanting to involuntarily cry a little bit. It's just kind of welling I'm not up in here. It hot. I feel it in here. It's on my tongue, and I'm feeling it in here. Okay, so the vinegar helps, I think. I Whew. love to when we get hot dogs on the road. The one I really go for is the jalapeno hot dogs. Right. Ooh, That's it, where we're going with the heat. So it's the heat level of like a jalapeno and cheddar dog that you would find at like racetrack or it's something It's not like in that. my throat, it's on my tongue. It's it's in your mouth, but it's not super hot, but the flavor is perfect. It really tastes like a hot dog. It, it does. really does taste like a hot dog with a little bit of heat. I really like that one. I think I like that one better than the plain one. But I think I'd rather, I would order the hot one. I do feel a little bit in my nose. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like in here, in, 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 the, in the wells of my eyes. A little rinse, we'll do the hot eggs. Yeah, I'm actually like pleasantly surprised it didn't like, you know, 
it's not hot prohibitive. No. Like I can enjoy it. Oh, that one's full. They're not stingy with a liquid. It's like a bottle of water, right? Don't you wish they filled everything like they filled a bottle of water? All right. I don't think we need to show it. Well, it is a little bit darker color, but I'll go ahead and show Again, it Again, anyway. it's crazy how you, if this is hot, you definitely want to make sure you're you're keeping a distinction in your there, refrigerator. There is like a pepper in the bottom of this. So they have a pepper. But the, the egg bottom. itself but only one. looks completely innocent. Ready? Stink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. The, the heat hits your tongue as soon as you put it in your mouth. Yeah. Woo! Okay. That little feller's got some spice to him. Yeah. So as soon as it hits your tongue. Wow. Like, it's not burning my throat. It's not even burning my mouth. Mm hmm But my tongue. It's like I literally just licked the seeds of a jalapeno yeah. pepper. Woo! Wow. Let me get rid of my ice. So uh, here, let's put that off to the side. That was, woo, that last one. Five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutritional label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Wow. Let's start off with the ingredients of the, I guess we'll go with the eggs. Yeah. So here's one for you. My mouth is on fire. Okay, so I've got the red hot, eggs, water, vinegar, salt, mustard seed, chili pepper, and flavorings. Yeah, this one just has eggs, water, vinegar, salt, and flavoring. Uh, this one, egg, water, vinegar, salt, mustard seed, chili pepper, and flavorings. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving over to the sausage. And again, I would definitely like, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of liquid to so make sure they're nice yes. and tight. Um, there's four servings in the sausages. It says two ounces, so there's a lot in there, just to give you an idea. The ingredients, pork and beef Polish sausage, which is beef heart, beef, pork, uh, water, salt, Contains less than 2% of corn syrup. That's the sausage. Yeah. Uh, potassium lactate, flavoring, sodium phosphate, dehydrated garlic, sodium uh, diacetate, sodium erythromate, sodium nitrate, brine, which is water, vinegar, salt, FD&C red number 40, mustard seed flavoring, adds a trivial amount of sugar. Uh, and that is from the corn syrup. But again, that's part of the hot dog. I'm okay with it. Everybody's going to be different. Yeah. And that's the same ingredients here. Okay. Number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Well, let's find out. Okay, so take the egg here, salt and vinegar pickled eggs. One egg is 65 calories, three and a half grams of fat, six grams of protein, one total carbohydrate. That's an egg. One on these two, same thing. Same thing. Okay, sausages. You've got uh, four servings in a container. So two ounces is actually a serving. So I don't know if you can see, but there's quite a lot of sausages I'm gonna in I'm going to probably tell there. you had two or three of those sausages. Yeah. Maybe even more. I'm, I'm counting four, eight. There's at least 12 in there. Um, so and it's nice that these are gluten-free, no MSG, no nuts, no soy, ready right. to eat. So in a two ounce serving, you've got 100 calories, six grams of fat, nine grams of protein, and two total carbohydrates, which we run into a lot with a hot dog. Yeah, okay. Uh, there is a little bit of copy on here. It said, uh, pucker up for something completely different. <laughs> Liven up your charcuterie board with these perfectly pickled oh, yeah. savory cuts of beef and pork. We've combined a blend of brine and spices to bring you a delicious ready to eat protein snack. Perfect for barbecues, picnics, tailgating, or stuffing your face on the go. There's one on here too. Uh, same thing here, except for it says obviously eggs instead of sausage. Number three, how do they taste? They taste amazing. They're really good. You know, I was thinking when we went to Omaha, there was a really cool food truck that yes. came and they were doing deviled eggs That's and right. they were charging like quite a lot for interesting deviled eggs. Deviled, they were good. They were really good and they were using, you know, different things as like toppers. And I told Joe, we need to do that as kind of like a fun hors d'oeuvre 
when we get home, when you're having a party or something, especially the holidays are coming, that might be something really neat and fun. And I think these are neat and fun to incorporate in parties because they're not going to look like what you're going to what they're going to taste like. Right. They're going to look super, you know, regular old egg, you know, just a little bit of like cocktail weenies, what's the big deal? And then if someone puts those on their plate, they're going to be like, wow, this is an event going right. on. Really, really tasty and Favorite interesting. Favorite flavor? This zesty. Yeah. The zesty garlic is absolutely I'm going to tell you, for me, uh, zesty uh, and the egg, zesty garlic, and the hot sausage. The hot like, sausage is good. Both sausages are good, but the hot sausage is a good flavor, but it's not like blow your mouth off hot like it's it's a flavorful heat mm -hmm. Th this one is a uh, blow your face off it'll blow I mean, your face off so if you're really really into spicy maybe not no. as much but it's just it's got that burn spice to it's it the because tongue. probably i think when you combine the vinegar with the pepper uh, but this one, not so much. So these are my two favorite flavors. Yeah. Number four, how much do they cost? Let's head on over to the website. Pork and good. Pucker up for something completely <laughs> different. It is completely okay. different. Okay, uh, pickled products. Okay, here we go. So we can get a two pack of any of them. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so two pack of the sausages. So you can get the regular one, the hot one, or a variety pack. And it's $25. So $12 a jar, uh, four servings in a jar. So $3 a serving. Not bad at all. No, and it's about the prices that we've paid when we've gone to like a boutique or, you know, like the Amish country where they have all of these type of pickled products. It's usually about, you know, $12 or $13 for a jar. Yep. Then we got the eggs, $20 for two jars of any of the flavors. So nice. that's $10 a jar. How many servings? Uh, um, six servings, six. so less than two dollars a serving. Nice. Um, and then you can also get a variety pack, twenty-seven dollars for one of each one. And then they have the porking good, good mother pucker, which is <laughs> one of everything, forty-four ninety-nine. Which so is what we purchased. Price is not bad, um, but we do have a discount code. It's two crazy ketos. I think that gets you ten percent off. There's a link down below. Number five, would we recommend it? I would absolutely recommend it. And also, I think this would be fun stocking stuffers, fun gifts for the holidays. Because it's just it's just interesting. And you know it's going to be good. It's not going to be like gross or weird. Even the vinegar tastes better than the ones that we've gotten in the gas station. It's, it's definitely not like a gas station right. style Definitely elevated. Egg. Yeah, so I would put this at a top if I'm, I mean, we make our own gift baskets now because I'm not gonna send to somebody a gift basket of food, you know, that just from Costco, I'm gonna curate my own basket and make a fun thing to send to somebody. And this is definitely something to go into that basket. Yeah, I would absolutely recommend it. I think the ingredients are very good. Uh, yes, the sausages are like basic sausages, but yeah. not any worse than anything you're going to buy in the store. Uh, I like the fact that they don't have a bunch of maltodextrin and stuff in them. Uh, just a really good thing that you can have for on the shelf, parties, stuff like that. And this is delicious. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video that I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we taste something pickled, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.